Today we are with this 2020 Toyota Tacoma. This one is the TRD Sport 4x4. And we are gonna do a full in-depth review and drive of this truck. Once again, I would like to give a big thanks and shout out to Apple Valley Toyota in Martinsburg, West Virginia for providing the 2020 Tacoma TRD Sport for me to film and for you guys to see. They do have a great selection of new Toyota vehicles in addition to new Chevrolet vehicles and also a very nice pre-owned inventory. For additional information on Apple Valley, check out the description below where you will find their contact number, website info, and also their address. There are plenty of trucks to choose from on the truck market today, ranging with all sorts of prices. Not everyone can say that they have the best resale value according to Kelly Blue Book, but the Tacoma can. So let's dive in and see why exactly that is. As already mentioned, we do have the TRD Sport 4x4 with us today, and it does have the 3.5 liter six cylinder engine. But that's not to say that there aren't any other trim levels to choose from on the Tacoma, because there are several. Starting out, we do have the SR package, starting at $26,050. Then we have the SR5, starting at $27,825. Next up is the one we have with us today, the TRD Sport, starting at $32,745. Next above that, we do have the TRD Off-Road package, starting at an even $34,000. Then we have the Limited starting at 38,790. And at the top of the list, few and far between, the TRD Pro starting at $43,960. With pricing across the board being covered, let's go ahead and take a look at this specific window sticker and see what all we're getting with this specific TRD Sport. We have our sticker price at $39,411. This one is the quick stand color and to be honest, this is my personal favorite color on the Tacoma. It's pretty unique compared to other competitors on the market, and you don't see too many colors quite like this. Average miles per gallon, 18 city, 22 highway, with a 20 combined average. You do have your crash test ratings there. As mentioned, the 3.5 liter V6 Atkinson cycle with dual VVT, 278 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 265 pound-feet of torque at 4,600 RPM. Paired to a six-speed automatic transmission, automatic limited slip differential, four-wheel drive demand, part-time 4x4 system with two-speed electronically controlled transfer case, towing receiver hitch, engine cooler, power steering cooler, 130 amp alternator, trailer sway control, 4.7 pin connector. For safety and convenience, we do have Toyota Safety Sense P, pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure alert, automatic high beams, also the star safety system, including vehicle stability control, traction control, anti-lock brake system with EBD, brake assist, and smart stop technology. Also, driver and front passenger advanced airbag system, seat mounted side and curtain airbags. On the exterior of this one, we do have 17 inch machined alloy wheels. Also a smart key system on front driver and passenger door. For the interior, we do have fabric trim seats, 10 way power adjustable driver seat, including two way lumbar, for the audio, we do have eight inch touchscreen, six speakers, hands-free Bluetooth, phone music, USB media port, USB charging ports, Sirius XM with a three month all access trial, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay compatible. Connected services include Safety Connect with a one year trial, Wi-Fi Connect with up to two gigabytes with three month trial, a rear backup camera, Qi wireless charging, and a full tank of gas. Optional equipment for this one does include the technology package for $800, giving you the parking sonar and blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. Also the all weather floor liner and door sill protectors for 248, bed light for 149, 
and mud guards for $129. So that is the pricing for this specific one. And as you heard there, the options that come with it, a nice starting point, a good foundation for options if you're in the market for a pickup truck, whether it be for a daily driver, to haul the family around, or just do general work, whatever you may be using the pickup for. And on the lower trims, we do have the 2.7 liter, 16 valve dual overhead cam four cylinder with variable valve timing, producing 159 horsepower and 180 pound feet of torque. If you're looking for a little bit extra power and also a little more capability, definitely go with the V6 with the Tacoma. And for the exterior appearance options, we got plenty of different colors to choose from, a total of eight, including midnight black metallic, voodoo blue, army green, Barcelona red metallic, quicksand, magnetic gray metallic, cement, and silver sky metallic. Also, we do have super white. For wheels, we do have 16 inch style steel wheels, also 16 inch black alloy wheels, 16 inch dark gray alloy wheels, 17 inch machine alloy wheels, 16 inch machined contrast alloy wheel, 18 inch polished alloy wheel, and then the TRD Pro with the 16 inch black alloy wheels. On Toyota's website, you will find a huge variety of accessories to even further customize your Tacoma. Now that we've covered the foundation of all the features that are available on the new Tacoma, let's jump into the hands-on portion of the review. Starting up front, we do have a very bold appearance. Nice headlight design, your wide-angled fog lights, the dark gray grille, large Toyota emblem, and your hood scoop in the front. Nice styling with that hood scoop on the TRD Sport. Your remote keyless entry key fob. Push the lock button once to lock all of the doors. Unlock once will unlock the drivers. Push it twice unlocks the entire pickup. Stepping inside, we do have a gray and black two-tone cloth interior with a very durable material. I have personally seen these interiors hold up very well over a long period of time and a lot of miles. They just really hold up nice and are easy to keep clean. Your power driver seat, your power windows, locks, and mirrors with automatic front passenger and driver windows, chrome interior door handles. We do have a soft to the touch material here on the door panel. Down here we have a couple of spots for cup holders and storage. Bed light control, automatic high beam control, bed power outlet control, traction control. Let's go ahead and step up into the vehicle. Stepping up into this Tacoma is very easy. It does feel like you are high up off the ground as you really should in a pickup truck. Yeah, it's pretty easy to get into the vehicle even without the running steps. The push button ignition allows for you to apply your foot to the brake. Push the push button ignition to start. Here's a look at your eight inch touchscreen system. Now is probably a good time for a radio demo. Let's go ahead and turn it on serious. As you can hear there, very clear audio system. You do have buttons on each side of this touch screen to control the touch screen. And also by pushing home, will take you to your main screen where you can see your audio, phone if one is connected and fuel range. Pushing map will take you to the navigation app if that is installed. If not, feel free to check out the Toyota website for compatible applications. Menu will take you to the main layout screen, really, where you can see projection for Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Also, your apps, phone, audio, info, and setup. And by pushing info, that's going to give you the vehicle alert history. Pressing eco there will give you your fuel economy information. 
setup will allow you to control things like your clock, language, projection settings, beep settings, interior lighting settings, and just a whole variety of preferences that you might want to adjust to make it to your liking. Shift knob is down here in the center and it's really just out of the way, it's not big and bulky. By putting the vehicle in reverse, it automatically kicks on the backup camera with the guidance lines. Drive, sport mode where we can shift the vehicle manually. Nice feel to that shifter. We do have our e-brake just to the left of that. Cup holder, storage, center console area, decent amount of storage. A couple more cup holders up there and our Qi wireless charging down there a little further. While we're down here also, we do have our park assist button. We have our rear power sliding window button. I just love trucks with rear sliding windows, especially power, that's a great feature. We do have our power outlet over here, 12 volt, USB hookup, Qi wireless charging, ECT power, and also BSM, that's blind spot monitoring. Just above that on the left side, we have our push button ignition, our turn knob for the four wheel drive. Over a little further is our climate controls, defrost, AC, and between the four x four and climate control knob is your hazard flashers. The steering wheel does have a nice solid grip. It's a nice thick wheel with some perforation there and stitching. Nice good grip on that four spoke wheel. On that wheel, we will notice that we have our forward collision alert lane departure system, which is a part of the Toyota safety sense. By pressing these buttons here, these toggle switches, those will allow you to scroll through your menu where you do have a digital speedometer display, distance to empty, average fuel economy, time the vehicle has been running. By pressing the side to side buttons, pulls up additional settings like your pre-collision system, lane departure alert, more settings for the language, units, accent color, programming, maintenance reset for your oil life, default settings, messages that might appear on the vehicle, the lane departure alert, and what we're gonna do is actually just leave that right on the digital speedometer display and the distance to empty meter. Very practical layout and easy to uh, find everything in here. The audio controls right at your fingertips, climate controls, four x four, everything you need to access when driving down the road is easily accessible. You don't have to hunt for everything because it's not really busy in here. We have our SOS emergency button up there, interior lighting controls sunglasses holder and we do have a nice black headliner going with the black and gray two-tone cloth seats stepping into the rear of the Tacoma as mentioned earlier notice the black sill plating on the way inside the practical styling and uh, just design of the vehicle door panels continues back here with the soft to the touch and chrome handle Mid-sized truck back here, and not gonna lie, plenty of leg room and headroom, shoulder room. Everything is uh, plenteous back here. Your passengers for the rear, not gonna be cramped or crowded at all. And that front driver's seat is reclined quite a bit. We do have a couple of cup holders there for the rear passengers. A couple of clothes hangers there in the back of the seats. And also on each side, we do have the grab handles. We do have our body color flares, which on the TRD off-road would be black. Here's an up-close look of your 17-inch alloy wheels. This Tacoma is riding on Firestone Destination LE2s, 265, 65R17s. Your clear tail light design back here body color rear bumper with your rear parking sensors tow receiver hitch Tacoma engraved in the tailgate and over on the right your v6 badging also Toyota marked on the tailgate handle and your backup camera right there with the key slot damped tailgate composite bed these beds hold up very well and uh, are just durable solid beds you have your bed light there also over here our bed outlet, which is very nice for when you're doing outdoor yard work and uh, just maintenance around a property. 
bed tie downs on each side here. Those are the all weather liners. Up there we do have our front plate bracket and a little bit of a storage compartment right there. Rear passenger side. The seats do pop up there and fold forward, giving you storage behind them. And also these seats do fold up here, giving you more storage. You also have your jack right there. Plenty of little cubbies and compartments to hide your cash, hide your personal belongings, whatever you might need to hide in your vehicle as you're going on road trips or what have you. Same situation for legroom over here. And the seats are pretty comfortable. They are nice and firm, but at the same time, they're not too firm. They're enough to be comfortable, and I could definitely see this pickup being comfortable on a long trip. Before we take a look under the hood, let's hop in the front passenger side. The passenger front seat is manually adjustable. Grab handle there, making it easy to get into the vehicle. We do have Tacoma engraved on the glove box, and it is a locking glove box. We do have our Toyota Tacoma owner's manual in a leather case with red stitching in there. All the interior buttons, plastics, and uh, overall feel of the interior is very durable feeling and good quality feeling, which is much expected of a Toyota. And also we do have our circular ventilation ducts with the chrome surrounding. Let's go ahead and pop the hood, take a look at the 3.5 liter V6 Atkinson cycle engine. Our 3.5 liter V6 engine producing 278 horsepower, running nice and quiet. As we'll find in the test drive, it does have enough power to get up to speed, whether it be around town or on the highway. Let's go ahead and take the Tacoma for a drive. In my time with the Tacoma, I have noticed that the handling of it is very nice. It's smooth, it doesn't have a lot of roll, and it feels firmly planted to the ground. You're nice and high up off the ground, hitting these potholes and bumps. The suspension really is forgiving. You don't feel a lot of those bumps and cracks in the road and the cabin is very quiet. We are gonna take it on the highway in the video to give you guys a little bit of an acceleration test and see how it feels when you're on the highway going at highway speeds. There's another one driving down the road there. As we're watching this video, please be sure to comment. Let me know your thoughts of the Tacoma, whether you're an owner, somebody looking for one, or just a car enthusiast, so we can hear your feedback on this because I'd love to be able to share feedback amongst you guys. Taking off, the gas pedal does have a nice prompt response. Taking the turns nicely. Got our digital speedometer display down there, letting us know exactly how fast we are going. As we jump on the highway, rather than do a zero to 60, we'll just do a rolling acceleration from about 15 to 20 miles an hour and show the merging process as we get up to speed. And something I'm really noticing that uh, as effortless as the braking. It uh, really is prompt with its braking. You don't feel a lot of uh, hassle when you're going to stop. It stops with ease. We're going about 20. And 60. Already, before we even get on the highway, that uh, definitely was a smooth and effortless acceleration there. Now that we're going about 60, let's go ahead and push it just a little. And we're going about 77 already. Highway speeds here in the Tacoma and effortlessly getting up to speed there. 
no complaints at all there. Going about 70 to 75, your RPMs are just a touch below 2,000. Smooth upshift. And I did touch that uh, shoulder line there, so the vehicle was letting me know that I touched that. A little bit of a braking test here. Nothing too hard, but you can see there, it just stops with ease, and it's really a nice handling truck. After putting my hands on the Tacoma, getting a chance to film, feel, and drive the truck, I can definitely see why Tacomas have such a great following and uh, also with that resale value. This truck has definitely earned its resale value in the truck world. Just a normal acceleration here onto the highway without even pushing it. Takes these corners nicely. Gets right up to speed without any hassle at all. So there you go, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video, my full in-depth review, startup, tour, and drive of the 2020 Toyota Tacoma in the TRD 4x4 Sport Package. Plenty of colors, plenty of options, definitely enough room here with the new Tacoma to make it your own and customize it. And also keep that great resale value that not everybody can say they have quite like the Tacoma does. For more car reviews just like this one, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe today, turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos just like this one, and I will see you guys in the next one.